This is an oil response spill uh, jet for spraying and it's based in the United Kingdom. It has been spotted this morning on the 18th of November 2016 spraying over the north of England near Scunthorpe where it's based. It was then I've taken it and I've done screenshots and a video on Flight Radar 24. It was actually programmed uh, on its flight track to go down to Basingstoke but it did about four or five circles and then landed again. This jet has been seen flying and spraying over the United Kingdom. This is the baby and that is now live. That is where it's gonna go. So it's gonna fly down here. That's his plant path. And it's gonna fly down to Basingstoke. But this thing was spraying at 3,000 feet. So we had an eyewitness on the ground seeing this take off from where it's based and it immediately started spraying in this area. Now they could say well it was just spraying water and we were just testing but this has been seen on other occasions across the UK spraying and it was an example of this um, of its capability down at the Farnborough Air Show this year 2016. And this is it in action if it will spray. This is the actual jet taking off at Farnborough in 2016 of this year. So we'll take it forward to the place where it does a turn, it comes back and it sprays. So that is swinging round, ready to come in for a pass. And when it's levelled out, so it's just showing its capabilities here. Now, there's nothing wrong with spraying oil slicks, but this jet aircraft does very, very little work in the United Kingdom. And it's a bit concerning when this is seen spraying over the United Kingdom, that it is spraying from behind it. And that was seen today, this morning, spraying over the north of the United Kingdom. So, I'm now going to show you where it's based, where its airport is, and who owns this jet. And it's these, it's the Doncaster Cessna Citation Service Centre, and that is where they are based and uh, this is actually on Google Earth which is here in fact you can see the actual aircraft which is there and that is on Google Earth whilst we're on Google Earth I'll show you the second company just below here which has military contracts Diamond Executive Aviation they are based here there's the uh, runway and they have a fleet of aircraft with contracts which are assigned to the military and the UK government and they do special operations. I have personally seen their aircraft spraying over Wolverhampton heading north to south. They were even on flight radar 24 registered. Bingo! This is the company and these are some of the uh, services that they offer. Sensor based operations, ISTAR, aerial survey photography operations and flight inspection, flight path validation. They can track aircraft and they also have a uh, special operations there, special ops which they can do. So under our noses there are different companies some of their uh, actions are quite innocent because they're there to make a profit and they're in business 
but it gets very very uh, suspicious when we actually see things like viruses spreading sometimes after these spray lines are seen in the sky and you can see things like when we go to the public health of England weekly national influenza report and you see there are certain specific times where influenza increases and you know what the unusual thing is it's across the whole of the United Kingdom within 24 to 48 hours that is physically impossible now it only takes a very small aircraft similar to the ones that we've just seen when you see influenza and viruses increasing now isn't it interesting when you see on the TV advertisements which are booked weeks in advance before an influenza and a, a coughing sore throats and flu virus epidemic where they seem to know it's coming and here is another example week 48 49 this is uh, week 20 20 uh, week 40 sorry 2016 in Scotland and you can see it just takes off within two to three days as an epidemic in the whole of Scotland um, physically impossible now this is really interesting this is the um, Cessna opens a Doncaster Citation Service Centre now the main director of the company uh, which was to do with the jet aircraft that does the spraying uh, also owned Kinch Aviation Services and guess what they do um, Mr Kinch himself um, this was back in 2012 he did modifications on aircraft fuel tanks and repairs so he did modifications to aircraft fuel tanks and there you go specialist fuel tank detection repairs MPI 24-7 a leading specialist in AOG and scheduled fuel tank leak, de leak detection and repairs aircraft maintenance and modifications yes again a lot of innocent work going on but they are based <laughs> and the guy that owned this company in the past is now um, in charge and in control of large jet aircraft capable of spraying the atmosphere and here is a company search on the Frederick Kinch Mr Paul Frederick Kinch I've seen these jets spraying over Wolverhampton shown on flight radar 24 but um, Miss Deborah Kinch is here company secretary and director possibly daughter or wife um, there's Mr Paul Frederick Kinch himself um, data search corporate secretaries data search nominees limited director uh, from other companies so interesting now you see the background of these companies and if there is a misdemeanor going on this will serve as evidence here's further details Kinch Aviation Limited phone numbers and uh, website and this is the official website of DEA as they say here we currently provide services to the UK government and European agencies they will undertake secret and covert operations on behalf of also the military I've seen on their websites they have contracts with the UK military forces and there it is spraying 